it's all about the takeover right now. Yes, the football world is in a frenzy about Manchester United takeover. Yes, everyone is going crazy. Twitter is on fire. And it's all sparked off by a, an article by Bloomberg. Uh, Bloomberg, who are a very reputable business news agency, have reported that sources close to Sheikh Yassim are now very confident that they have won the bid to buy Manchester United. They believe an announcement is due very soon from the Rain Group to confirm the same. I have told you before that the Rain Group like simple clean bids without deferred payments or complications or complicated structure payments of any kind. Uh, we saw the same when they advised this on the sale of Chelsea and they opted for the most simplest bid made and rejected bids from other groups that were complicated and involved other agencies providing money and the structure of the purchase was going to be complicated involving lots of banks lots of different parties all making up the sale process they didn't don't like doing that they don't like them kind of setups the rain group prefer simple clean payouts and buyouts when they're dealing with purchases and selling of clubs or businesses as a whole and that's what they must be advising the glazers there's no doubt that I think that they, they're advising the Glazers that a clean sale will be the best for them and getting the six billion in the bank now is better than having an ongoing role within Manchester United and waiting for the money to arrive sometime in the future. Man United fans have also made it very clear that they don't want the Glazers anywhere near Manchester United and they want them as far as possible from the club. And I think the uh, Rain Group uh, must be advising the Glazers on their reputational uh, impact going forward. They do own other clubs and therefore uh, in America that, that is they own uh, the uh, NFL club, uh, Buccaneers I believe it is. And they're probably thinking look you do not want that to be affected by the uh, fallout from Manchester United. This is of course very good news that Bloomberg are... are making this public and they're getting the information from their sources and making this information public they are a very reputable firm and they would not be just putting this out there on a whim they would be second checking everything and they must have got this information from a very very good source however this is information it could be just a leak from the Sheikh Yassim camp itself and it could just be you know hot smoke it could be one of those uh, tactical moves uh, hoping that this would then force uh, the rain group to come out and make a formal statement and uh, might put off the other parties who is no, there's only one party said jim ratcliffe and his group ineos group it, they might put them off from pursuing any further offers or doing anything else they might think right we're lost we've lost the bid let's just forget about it and just move away but look we cannot start partying until we hear a formal statement from the rain group confirming everything everything that's been speculated by the two uh, very reputable i must add very reputable news agencies one is reuters and the other is bloomberg both are highly reputable business uh, news agencies so they have insight to what's going on in the business world they probably don't have a clue as to the football world but in the business world they are huge and they them coming out making any kind of statement on record is something meaningful and something that everyone is to sit up and take heed of anyway after that good news or hopefully good news something in the right direction in the uh, Sheikh Yassim buying Manchester United will turn our attention to other news concerning Manchester United uh, and there's a small uh, thing of the transfer window which is currently open and Manchester United are yet to make their first signing takeover of course is not helping this but i'm hearing the real reason for the lack of movement is also due to the fact that some of the players that manchester united have been have put on the transfer out list are not willing to leave manchester united possibly because they're having to take heavy pay cuts 
there was real hope that United would get offers for players like Fred, Maguire, De Gea, but nothing has been received and therefore Man United are unable to splash the cash on other players, new players. They're also limited by the financial fair play rules uh, and the only way they can change things is to sell the long list of players that Ten Hag is not intending to use this coming season. Unless they don't sell them players, the actual money that they can go out and spend on the transfer market is limited. And this may be the reason why Man United haven't been making silly offers for players left, right and centre. They may have made an offer for Declan Rice, but they chose not to and sit on the sidelines and watch things uh, play out maybe this is why they are not willing to increase the offer for mason mount knowing that they will need every bit of money in the kitty as so and they don't want to kind of have the problem where they would really want to buy someone and they can't because of financial flair flair play rules and uh, so that could be the reason what what's your take on it what would be your solution if it wasn't to sell these players i mean i would seriously say someone needs to get on a plane fly over to saudi and just literally try and sell these players maguire fred anybody to the saudi clubs clubs who are willing to pay them the decent salaries and are willing to pay for the players themselves and United can make some money off them. United have had a terrible, terrible, terrible record of buying players at a very high price and selling them for absolutely nothing. And they've hardly any sold any players. I mean, in the last few years, they seem to just sit there and ha are happy to accept the money like absolute mercenaries. They just do not care. Uh, and Maguire seems to set on not wanting to move and leave Manchester United and is happy to accept sitting on the bench or not even being part of the squad. Finally, um, moving on to another breaking news, Declan Rice is uh, almost 100% joining Arsenal. Man United are still in the position of considering to make an offer. Uh, I'm guessing that's going to be a phrase that we're going to hear a lot of uh, this summer, which is considering to make an offer for most players because I don't think Man United are going to make any offers. Man City are reportedly have pulled out of the chase for Declan Rice and are looking elsewhere uh, and Arsenal looks set to have him on their roster next next season because uh, well 105 million is a huge offer and I think West Ham would have been stupid to refuse it. Anyway guys please smash that like button and subscribe and I will catch you later with further updates on what's going on in the takeover and what's going on in the transfer market for Man United. Okay, goodbye.